Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to create uh, ringtones on iTunes 10 and Windows 7. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up your iTunes and go to your library and look for to see if you have the ringtones icon and list. In this case it does not appear. Uh, it's pretty simple to get. What you're going to do is go under edit and you're going to go to preferences and then when you get this box you want to find where it says ringtones and check the box if it's not checked which it shouldn't be if you don't have a list and click on OK and then we'll move back to our library and there we see ringtones now does appear so that's the first step in how we're going to create ringtones uh, with iTunes 10 and Windows 7 and we'll move on to step, step number two all right, the next step is uh, we want to go down to our windows and we want to click on the start menu and we want to type in the search box folder. And we want to look up here and find folder options and it's going to open up a window. Uh, in that window we want to go to view and we want to find where it says hide extensions for known file types and you want to make sure that box is unchecked and you're going to click on apply and OK. Basically what that will do is allow you to change the music file to a ringtone file when we go to rename it in the third step which we will be moving to next. OK, before we begin the next step you want to find the song you want you want to know the clip of the song that you want to make into a ringtone. Keep in mind ringtones can't be usually more than 30 to 35 seconds. Once you've done that and written down when you want it to start and stop in the song, you then can begin. Go back to the song and you want to right click and go to get info. Once you get that box popped up, you're going to go to options and then this is where it becomes useful. In this case, the song I chose, I want it to start 18 seconds into the song and start 48 seconds after the song began. Uh, you want to click both boxes or check both boxes. They must both be checked and then click on OK. The next step is pretty simple as well. You want to then um, click back onto the original song and right click and go to create AAC version and you'll notice an exact duplicate of the original song appears but if you look to the right you'll see the original song was 4 minutes and 42 seconds this one's only 30 seconds so you want to take the 30 second song and we want to take that and either drag it to your desktop or outside of iTunes I actually have a folder with all my uh, ringtones on it so I'm going to drag it to that folder and it appears. Now to create it or change it into a ringtone we want to right click and go down to rename and you'll notice when you read the, the uh, box it has the title of the song and it ends in a dot M4A. We want to convert it to an M4R so we want to backspace get rid of the A and put it in as a small R or lowercase r go outside of the box and click and you're going to get a warning box and you're going to want to answer yes to that box alright so now it's in my system it is now a ringtone but we want to put it in iTunes so we're going to go back to our iTunes tab click on it and we're going to go to our ringtones list and I have several of them in there go back to wherever you have your ringtone file whether it be on your desktop or in a folder and just drag and drop and we can close that one out and it now appears in under your ringtones and then when you want to uh, put it on your iPhone you just go to your iPhone go to the folder that says ringtones which I already have and you're gonna click the box living on video and then you're going to apply it or sync it and then it will go on to your uh, iPhone under your ringtones folder in uh, your options. Uh, you want to make sure that you go back to your music folder 
and you want to go back to the AAC file that we created. In this case, it was again just 30 seconds here. And we want to delete that because you don't really need it anymore. So we're going to go down and delete it. And we're going to remove it. And we're going to move it to the recycle bin. And then we want to go to the original song. And we want to click on Get Info again and you want to click on options and then you just want to uncheck both those boxes that way the next time you open up iTunes or go to play the song it'll be reverted back to the original and start when it should and stop when it should and you're just going to click on OK and that's pretty much it on uh, creating iTunes or rather ringtones on iTunes 10 and Windows 7 I hope this helps you guys out